Yeah. Um, all right. Oh. Okay. Good evening, fellow members and guests. My name is Jorge Luis Berrios Cuevas. I am a personal trainer, sports nutrition specialist, and nutrition coach. And I love pastries. <laughs> I love sweets. I love comfort foods. And I think everybody does. Yet, I want to live a healthy lifestyle that represents what I do for a living. However, a lot of my people, my friends, my family, the people that I hang out with, they also love pastries, comfort food, wine, sweets. And I want them to also be healthy and happy. But I don't want to be that guy who is always judging what other people eat. So this raises the question, how do I balance my food choices, my lifestyle, and who I am to my people. Well, sometimes it all comes down to food choices. You have the broccoli and the donut. <laughs> While the broccoli is anti-aging, the donut makes me feel young. <laughs> While the broccoli helps digestion, the donut makes my belly happy. <laughs> While the broccoli improves eyesight, the donut looks so good. <laughs> While the broccoli reduces Alzheimer's disease, the donut, what was the other food? <laughs> Sometimes you just have to eat the donut. It all, it all comes down to habit. For instance, what do you have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack? I'm having a donut for breakfast every day. It's my lunch, a hamburger with french fries. It's my dinner, lasagna. And then the next day, maybe I have pancakes for breakfast. And then I have a snack for a snack, a sneaker. Maybe that's not too healthy. But if my diet consists of mostly produce, if I eat plenty of lean protein, and most of my diet is pretty healthy, it's OK to eat the donut here and there, or the sneakers once in a while. Which takes us to lifestyle. My opinion is that a healthy lifestyle is about being in the habit of health without being a prisoner of health, enjoying the comforts of food without being an addict to that. So it is kind of like a balancing act, where you want the balance to be leaning more towards the healthy side. And well, while for everyone you know healthy is very relative, then what's healthy then? For me, for instance, I tend to lose weight pretty easily. So I might want to eat a little bit more carbohydrates in my diet, not like donuts, but maybe brown rice, quinoa, potatoes, sweet potatoes. But for a person that gains weight easily, even though these are healthy foods, maybe they should go more for salads, fruits. Uh, so this brings a question. Then how do I interact with my people? Because they might not have the same necessities for health that I have. Well, here, first thing I try to do is that I try to be to have a healthy lifestyle myself. And it's not perfect, I, I also struggle. But I try to do my best to be an example to the people that I share with. So, and they know that I'm a human, I can also succumb. But the first thing I try to do is to empathize. So, as I told you, I try to get a diet higher in carbohydrates. But if I am hanging out with a friend and he's on a diet and he's eating salad, I'm probably not gonna get that sweet potato, maybe I get just the vegetables and the meat because I'm eating with him just so he feels more comfortable when he's having his, his dinner. On the other hand, if it is the birthday of my best friend, 
and everybody's having cake, I am having that cake. So finally, that gives you an idea of how to balance choices, lifestyle, and interactions with people. The first thing is that you have to consider that a healthy lifestyle is about balance and habits. Second of all, that you should empathize with the people in your life. Also, that you should really eat your broccoli. <laughs> but you know, there's always a chance to have a little bit of a comfort once in a while. Well, thank you. Ah, Masters. <laughs>